the uh, understanding of the digital forensics, uh, it is not a context of 100% practical side, but it is uh, a with uh, building or construction in the sense of we have to know all related fields, uh, parties, uh, interrelated uh, operations and methods, all the surrounding environment constraints and uh, let's say uh, uh, operational constraints, all of actually uh, of those uh, variants, we may use the word variants, they have to be recognized. Uh, as we started last uh, class, this unit number one is a context of the uh, understanding of the uh, entering, or uh, let's say, uh, understandings to uh, what is the use of this computer forensics or this digital forensics. So when we talk about profession, we are not talking about a job to take, but as a function to do in the sense of what are the things that actually they define clearly the uh, context of the digital forensics. All of this unit fully, fully, it uh, defines, it gives a one definition, a unique definition to what is computer forensics, computer digital forensics, or related to whatever, the digital forensics in general. Uh, because, because actually, uh, as come to where we stopped, uh, we are going to see even the laws. Yeah, uh, we started, the, we, we defined the tool, but yeah, the laws actually, even the uh, civil laws, the civic related laws, actually they are things that they have actually uh, be recognized by the digital uh, forensic specialists. Uh, why? Because we cannot say this is a crime, this is a digital crime, while we do not know what the law says about that. So the uh, civil <coughs> related um, operations that actually have to be recognized by the uh, digital forensics uh, members or let's say related specialists. Uh, usually we're going to define the laws, yes, but uh, it is a, a view to relate it to our, uh, our, our, our digital context. We are not going to talk about, for example, murdering case if it is not having any uh, uh, relationship with a digital uh, environment. So uh, we are not defining the law towards the crime itself, but we are using the law to adopt it and to utilize it, to give a clear investigation or a better investigation on the purpose of digital forensics. We are making investigation at the end of the day to uh, facilitate the law adoption, yes, the uh, implementation of the law, in the digital uh, environment or whatever, the adoption of the law in all uh, perspectives and aspects. But usually the digital environment is the framework to, to tackle. So technology has to be actually having uh, the view, usually whenever we talk about the law, so uh, whenever, we talk, uh, whenever we adopt a law, so the, the, the changes that a technology is adopted has to be considered. We don't talk about uh, digital, uh, let's say, uh, we don't talk about a law that does not go with the technology of today. Uh, we are talking, for example, we are talking about IoT devices and the communication using the very tiny uh, devices today, the very cognitive and smart devices today. We have to consider that as an example when we adopt laws. The law, the canon, the law is the civil uh, policies and politics that they help actually people to survive all, all together. The uh, statuses and the uh, considerations of those law also they have to be actually uh, mentioned. So the law is one of the uh, criteria, no more no less, that they have actually to be uh, considered whether they are actually uh, up to date or not. Why? Because uh, if there is no law to be measuring what uh, a case is set today, we have, we can, we can go with a previous law, since the law is not available today. Two, we can go with a previous one, we can go with a previous one for the purpose of what? To measure uh, a solution to a crime or to an uh, incident, a digital, uh, digital case or digital incidents, to solve it, the purpose of to solve it, more or less. So if there is no law to exactly fit what the digital scenario is, 
uh, we actually go for uh, we we are having the chance to go with a former case that that suits uh, is similar to what the case is uh, we are facing today good uh, uh, also to enhance such uh, such an experience since actually we just said now that we can go with the previous and former laws to enhance the experience with uh, solving better solving uh, digital context if you don't have a clear law that uh, governs the scenario uh, the uh, experience exchange is one of the solutions to enhance such an uh, an approach experience exchange what does it mean it means actually when ex so, so digital forensics experience um, let's say experience mo most experienced people are actually uh, meeting so 100% they will exchange their knowledge 100% they will actually share their experience and they will actually get the benefit one from the other from each other at the end of the day so it is good actually to join um, as actually as a beginner or as a learner or as actually a, a specialist in this field it's good to join dedicated uh, let's say um, forums and uh, groups and let's say associations that they are working in this uh, on this field for the purpose of gaining knowledge the the sitting or the let's say uh, the other one uh, whatever whatever they are they are all actually resources of providing knowledge uh, in addition to that it is trivial that a digital forensics specialist has to recognize as much as technical frameworks where he can actually express his uh, let's say uh, skills and experience of field platforms and frameworks we talk about operating systems mainly and it depends on the scenario because we can talk about a network so we, do, we talk about uh, a firmware or a, let's say network device not only an operating system but the framework in question so the digital forensics uh, party has to recognize as much as frameworks he can great resources <clears throat> okay uh, investigations is the key of the digital forensics actually they are classified into two groups the private and the uh, public investigations why they are actually segregated in this view this is not a rule but it is actually a facilitation of the adoption of laws and regulations in order to uh, to achieve the investigation process because an investigator is not anybody uh, that has a skill can can do that that is that is <clears throat> A right to have in order to do the investigation if you are not allowed if you are not authorized to do you are not allowed to do so that's policies and politics adopted to achieve or to do the the, the investigations they are different from a public sector to a private sector public sector actually all the laws that they actually uh, be committed by the uh, by the government or governmental let's say uh, framework they are to be ruling the investigations on the public organizations or let's say departments or let's say yes organizations in general yet yet when we talk about the uh, actually this is for the uh, concern of the, uh, the, 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 the 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 public um, whatever actually here is I I'm gonna go to the private and I come back I'm gonna go to the private and for the concern of the private the the, the the politics or the internal politics that actually govern the uh, the work of the the internal work of an organization. Hey, uh, just a second, please.
so uh, I'm sorry for the interruption. Uh, yeah, we continue. Uh, I was saying, like, actually, the uh, for the private sector, the uh, internal politics and the laws actually they are govern uh, the work because before adopting the public laws, the internal laws of uh, of an of a given uh, of a given uh, organization has to be uh, implemented, and this is actually related to the uh, civil uh, cases generally, and they would be actually treated as a civil case generally, and it would be actually considered as a litigation in between parties if there is any case. If there is any report, uh, let's say, um, uh, case report actually uh, as a crime, reported as a crime, no more, no less. Why? Because they have to be actually seen from inside the corporation in question. Otherwise, otherwise, the, or the organization itself or the corporate actually uh, itself will be considered as a unit versus the law, versus the government law in this, in this regard. <clears throat> Good. The process behind of doing so, actually going behind the, the private and the public and so on, uh, uh, it is going behind a specific process, specific path that uh, to to achieve that. Actually, here we are going to talk about the the uh, the, uh, the investigation process in real case, regardless of uh, whether it is actually a digital. Uh, uh, issue case or it, it is uh, a civil uh, issue case uh, usually actually a crime has to be reported there have to be actually uh, a report of uh, a crime where where a scenario has happened where actually uh, a robbery or burglary or any 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 problem problematic view to say that there are two parties uh, litigating or there is A crime actually to be reported. Whatever the crime is, um, as per title, or titles of examples only, we say actually it's a burglary. The burglary, even it's a digital uh, issue. But whatever the, uh, there is an issue to be to be raised at that time. At that time, we have to specify that there is a need of investigation. And uh, because of this uh, scenario only. So and now we are not able to delimit the number of the, uh, the the issues to raise up or to be uh, to to cause the raise up of a crime or investigation request. There are terminologies. There are terminologies that have been actually added specifically to the context of uh, uh, investigations and digital investigations in general. And they are they are related to the computer field, no more, no less. When we when you, when we come to the word forensic itself, actually, it is defined as the digital investigation. So there are there are terminologies defined because of this approach. Since we are saying there are laws to match specifically the digital crime and the digital investigations, digital proof, let's say extraction. So there are uh, terminologies for this purpose only. And those terminologies and those, uh, uh, let's say, whatever the crimes to be uh, considered, they are usually based on the local policies. They are not to be set globally and uh, for uh, customized for everybody, everywhere, at every continent and every country. No, they are to consider, first of all, the uh, local policies, first of all. Then after we talk about laws and... Uh, whether it is a crime or not. Because from a country to another, beliefs and ethics, they are not the same. Thus, crimes, they are not the same. And consideration of the uh, the, uh, the behaviors, they are not the same. When we compare our, our uh, Arab and Muslim countries, they are not the same actually when, uh, when we uh, expose our culture versus the, uh, let's say, the Western culture, or the United States specifically culture. So it's not the same scenario. Thus, the law is not the same, and thus the uh, the issues to raise as crimes they are not the same. Fully, a scenario starts usually with the crime actually to be uh, to be raised up. Here, a complaint. There is something specified that there is a need of an investigation. This is the complaint. It starts with a list of uh, givers to prove that there is actually something misleading to uh, a misfunction. Whether it is a clear litigation, 
in between two parties or something that uh, to be raised by a one party searching for a specific uh, missing value in this in this view thus at this, at, this, at that level, only the investigation would start. The investigation would be actually raised up by, as in, in the real case, it would be actually by a police agent. And for the purpose of generating a blotter, the blotter is a specific group of papers documenting only what has been happening during the uh, during the investigation to, uh, at the end of the day, to prove, to prove what has been uh, raised up, starting from the complaint up to what has to be submitted to the prosecution level. All of this is the investigation process. This is the regular uh, prosecution, uh, sorry, investigation uh, process. There have to be much, clearly. There have to be a much with the digital uh, environment. Otherwise, there, there will be a missing, a missing, uh, it has to be similar when we compare to the uh, to the to the digital investigation. There have to be a complaint, there have to be uh, incidents or incidences in plural to prove that there is something missing or there is a misfunction or there is an issue that causes the need of making an investigation or doing an investigation investigation usually it will not do actually in the digital context you not do uh, ask us or force us to generate a blot alike uh, uh, document but something similar to that because we are not going to go for a, blo a paper work fully we are going to go for different views or for different uh, to follow different paths at the end of the day we are going to extract proofs to send them to the prosecution level those are our proofs those are the uh, complaints we got and this is up to you to prosecute on that example of paper-based Blotters, police blotter. This is actually a digital version, but even though it is a sort of uh, paragraph to this state, what happened specifically, it is a paragraph to state that it is a textual uh, preview. As per title of example only. Okay, the <clears throat> the uh, context of the. Investigation results to be submitted to the prosecute, uh, pro, prosecution for uh, to, to yes for the to, to the prosecution level uh, needs from us or needs from the investigator or the spe spe specif specified investigator to generate um, uh, what has actually uh, to be defined as an affidavit, which is actually a tifaqiya. Well, it's not it's. Uh, um, it's, uh, uh, I'm not finding the word actually in Arabic or myself even regardless uh, it's a sort of um, a finalized work to be admitted by the prosecution to terminate the uh, the the uh, the prosecution process actually the judge at the end of the day will ask for either a, a, a more research a more investigation more details to be done by the it's the permission for that otherwise we'll actually terminate the prosecution from his side his side only means what what it is going to be sent to the prosecution level it might be requesting more investigation after the permission of the prosecutor or it would be actually terminated there if the affidavit submitted by the investigator will give the enough data to uh, to cause yes to to deal to the uh, clear understanding of the case uh, with clear proofs and prove the proofs to terminate the case no more no less uh, this is a context of a regular investigation this is a case still it is a case of a regular uh, uh, investigation an example of an affidavit uh, here is uh, is a scene uh, it is the um, letter to be submitted by the investigator to the prosecutor agent or the prosecutor let's say uh, department or pro prosecu prosecution department sorry to report all what has been happening since the a complaint up to the uh, the submission of the final investigation report 
from the from the lexic here we can understand that. Uh, okay. Um, regarding regarding the the uh, investigations, they are actually to be happening in between either parties or or even companies themselves. So uh, usually when you talk about digital forensics, <clears throat> do not expect that we are going to do it for you as a person. It's not it's not the case. Uh, at the time we can. At the time we can. Yes, absolutely. But it is to be done for corporates mainly. And the corporates, they actually uh, can be small ones. They can be actually uh, large companies. When you talk about, about lawyers, they are like personals. Yeah, we can do actually investigations. For, uh, for example, lawyers. Lawyers, they can actually, a lawyer, one lawyer. It's one person, but it has actually, he has or she has actually a company and it has their sets that they have to be uh, investigated for a reason or another. So... The uh, corporates uh, that they actually that they can raise up an investigation uh, need, they are many, and they are a reason of being a, 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 the fact that they are actually a corporate. They are a reason of raising up an investigation need. So. Um, a conclusion for this part only uh, an individual cannot uh, raise up or cannot uh, have the necessity to raise up an investigation process no it's not the case but it's not the first reason of raising up an investigation process for the context of um, digital uh, forensics why because uh, one person is isolated environment he does not have any uh, surround or external uh, constraints or parties clear the problem is from himself to himself he has to, he is isolated already uh, examples of examples of uh, functions that they actually can cause the rise up of investigation need all the all the uh, all the digital activities that they can actually that we are facing that we are dealing with daily one of the very famous problems problematic views that we can face daily in the digital environment is the eavesdropping we saw that in the digital the digital security course the eavesdropping to just monitor the data flows or network flows without permission espionage eavesdropping uh, monitoring without uh, without consent all of them they are spy spying all of them key logging all of them they are actually examples of uh, espionage they are very crucial and famous crimes on the digital environments, environments. And they are very famous. They are very famous in this. Uh... Okay. Um, at the same, at the same uh, um, uh, level, we have to <clears throat> understand that uh, the uh, group of politics internally to an organization, they are the first uh, overview to consider when saying that this is a problematic view to raise up an investigation and we have to make an investigation see what i'm saying up to you now see since now we did not talk about the digital forensics process or the lab or whatever we have to do no we are talking how to classify or to clarify or to state that we are having an issue that pushes us to talk about investigation we need to make an investigation so uh, the group of politics from within an organization, whether it is public or um, public or um, let's say private, they state whether an incident happening uh, at a given time is a reason to raise up an investigation uh, request. So those politics have to be actually updated daily, uh, frequently, and so on. They have to be actually clearly communicated with whomever uh, related parties, whether they are the employees or the external, let's say, uh, stakeholders, whatever. They have to be communicated clearly. And uh, this view and this view, uh, since they are going to be actually communicated, they have to be utilized and considered 
to do the uh, investigation. Why? Because an internal investigation, if it's not ruled by the politics uh, set by the company, it would break the rights of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the internal members of the company, including, including, including the doer, the suspected, uh, let's say, um, criminal. They are uh, even the criminal has rights, or the criminals in plural have rights, so they have to be protected. So we do not break rules because he is he is. He is uh, a criminal, or he, or he is suspected only. So the the investigations to be uh, done and turned into an organization or to an environment, to work environment, uh, they have to be actually still obey to the politics by the organization, whatever. The the uh, the very good example, the very good example to follow. When setting up policies internally to an organization, since we are dealing with a digital environment, remember that we can do, uh, we are working with an online or what, let's say an electronic, a virtual environment. So, uh, warning banners is a very good example to notify any function use. Warning banners is a good practice and behavior to help users be notified. from using a given function. So policies, they, they would be actually uh, be communicated clearly and let's say shared with everybody to notify everybody. Those are our policies. You do, you don't do. You do, you don't do. Okay, great. A paper, it's a paper, it's a sheet of paper saying that those are the list of rules we have to obey. All of us, <clears throat> the members of a given company, belong to a specific work line. <clears throat> Beside of that, once can miss. A long list of policies can cause a user to miss. Warning banners, notifiers, notifiers can help users of the uh, specifically the digital functions to remember or to be actually alerted whether to use a function or not, whether to be permitted to know that he is allowed to do that or not. Warning banners. Warning banners, actually, they are specific uh, uh, signs to specify that the traffic you are doing or you are just going behind is allowed or not. No more, no less. It's just uh, a, a very clear message stating that you are allowed to go on or no, you are not allowed to go on. It's just an alert. No more, no less. It's just an alert. Example of that, something like that. Just to say uh, here, to read and to say, okay, that's it. The say, okay, here notifies, just the press of the okay notifies the service provider that this message has been reached you. Has reached you, sorry. You press, you as a new user, once you confirm that, pressing this okay, even the close here, even this close proves to the provider of the service that comes after that this message reached you. You read this message. What you are going to do after clicking this OK or this close button, it is your responsibility, whether you are allowed or not, including criminal prosecution. So whether you are not allowed to do or not, will either raise up this uh, path of the prosecution or not. Great. We were talking about the police blotter, and we said that it is a report to be generated by the police agent in the regular investigation of your plane. The uh, <clears throat> Party nominated to be actually an authorized, an authorized requester, uh, it is the one who has the capability, the intellectual 
in addition to the administrative responsibilities to do the investigation. Intellectual, we talk about the technical descriptions. It technically means he knows what are the tools. He knows how to start and from where to end. Technically, administrative authorizations, it's another context to have the right, the permission, the consent to start an investigation or to go for an investigation. Because investigations are not going to be done by everybody. You have the intellectual capability, but you are not allowed to do. So you are not an authorized requester. An environment that states a crime scene, digitally seen, not anybody will be actually classified as an authorized party to do the investigation. No. There are consents that the requester has to go behind in order to finalize his request or his request. They are not the technical only, but they power the investigation to be conducted. Hey, is it clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, up to up to now and still going on, we are not going to standardize the the investigation process. Why? Because the investigation it is related to uh, we said that in last class it is related to an environment and the environment differs from a workspace to another workspace and workplace depends on the business whether it is mobile business or it is actually a local uh, uh, let's say uh, infrastructure uh, environment where the business is running or it is a standalone devices group of devices that they are actually having different segregated functions to do so from an environment to another the investigation will differ thus we are talking about um, groups here to classify the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 authority to give permissions to dedicated parties to do the investigation or not so groups Fulan is allowed to go for the let's say dedicated uh, investigations let's say here corporate security another one to investigate the behavior of the insiders to an, organ an organization or an or insiders to a department something like that so uh, segregation of the investigation work can be done also segregation of the investigation work can be done based on the who what based on the business environment there are no rules there are no rules there are no standardization rules yes the behavior actually it would be standardized later on but segregation of those roles what i functions it is based on the business environment space work uh, workspace or work uh, place categories, types of the uh, uh, investigations, related work, or works. We talk about the misuse of the assets related to a business, misuse of communication platforms, misuse of resources, and let's say, and provided resources in general. Uh, example of the internet here, they are a communication platform, not only email, but a very example, a very famous example. Um, corporate assets fully network devices or network let's say service and devices like the printers and scanners and so on I come back to this is the doctrine
yeah and uh, because of those because of the uh, of the uh, variety the rich environment that investigations can start or can do or can be actually seen uh, doctrines are being set doctrines they are actually a group of agreements to uh, distinguish to clearly distinguish in between the personal and the uh, work uh, devices because actually as we take the example of the university of Nizo, we can, all of us we can use our own mobiles to reach the resources of the university of Nizo. we can bring our own devices to reach the work services so this is actually a case this is actually a scenario where which we have to have a clear law we talk about doctrine to distinguish in between the personal and the work related devices or even the software resources in general okay uh, professional conduct the last part in this uh, unit which is uh, um, a common sense understanding to push the investigators to eliminate their prejudge to an environment, to a, to a person, to a company, to a, a work channel. They have to be actually abstract as much as they can in order to be fair with the case. Uh, the very best word I can actually use to describe the professional approach is the ethics. What does it mean? Me, I'm very, uh, I like, for example, the uh, digital security work. So I avoid investigating digital security department in a company. No. No. It is my prejudge here. I do not do that. Actually, the professional side does not include the personal side professional side it's a matter of understanding that this is a professional task we have to do it fully we have to accomplish it fully and because of this professional side only a very simple a very simple case a very simple case can be seen as serious as a murder case so the thing is not uh, it's not to be considered as simple or as complex it is to be seen as professional as it has to be whether it is small or big ethics has to be actually raised up to the highest level no more no less uh, usually usually actually an investigator has to go behind recording his behavior or the list of functions he's following in order to accomplish his uh, his doings or his or his Yes, his accomplishments. Why? Because we come back to our initial step. There is no rule to be standardized with all investigation cases. Thus, he has to be recorded in all his fact findings, methods, how he did to achieve his case in this on a given scenario or in a given scene. He has to record that. Any questions, Aya? No, Doctor. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording.